What's up everybody? Welcome to Lynette, Alabama. Supposedly, according to Google, this is the most dangerous town in Alabama by crime rate. Now, let's drive around and let's see if it looks like it really is a dangerous place. But according to Google, the crime statistics, this is in fact the most dangerous town in Alabama. But it looks normal to me so far, we'll find out. Um, overall, you know, when I looked at statistics and I was in Florida trying to find a place in Alabama, um, everything was supposedly like it looked like everything was really high crime rates. And when I actually got here, it didn't look just quiet little towns. I'm like, what? How does this town have just a high crime rate? So I think there's something that doesn't add up about statistics. You know, statistics are one thing in reality, I think, or another. I don't think crime statistics kind of really do an honest explanation of a neighborhood. Now, these houses look pretty kind of run down and depressing, but let's find out. But when I was doing my Alabama research, man, I, I don't know what it is. Let's get into these neighborhoods and see what's going on back in the back streets. I know there's a lot of old rundown houses here. That's that's a given. We'll find out if it's actually dangerous, if it looks like this environment or what. But statistically, don't put, I'm not making up this. I'm not the one making this up. Statistically, according to Google, so it has the highest crime rate of all the cities in Alabama. And Alabama's got some pretty high crime rate cities, so if that's the case, it can't be too. But I, I really don't get these, these crime statistics all that much, to be honest. Because, uh, we gotta find it, I guess, guys. We gotta, we gotta look for it. I don't know, like in Florida, all the, all the new developments in Florida, they're all gated. All the new developments in Florida are gated. And I've noticed that here in Alabama, they make developments, but they don't put up gates. And, uh, this is pretty much kind of what we're looking for driving to. It's a lot of littering. And littering is usually a sign of, uh, people who don't care about their community. The house that I'm buying looks like that, but newer. That's pretty much like that, but that's an old, old house. It looks, my house is, if the house we're buying looks like that. But when you see littering, it's a usually a very, very bad indication and i do have the camera facing out by my face so anybody who i drive by is going to notice the camera so this is a very uh i like these houses look at look, look at the black metal roof baby like i was telling you look mm -hmm. it doesn't look bad at all our house looks just like that but backwards and it's a little bit bigger but that's what our house looks like mm -hmm. look, look they just painted the bottom brown to match the roof it doesn't look bad at all Look at the blue shutters though. I love it. So yeah, um, that house looks very similar to the house we're buying. So they're older houses. And usually when there's older houses, they get run down. It costs more money to fix them than what it does to um, to build a new one. So they get into disrepair, they become rental properties. We're in Alabama, but we're right across from Georgia. And right on the other side, as soon as you get off into Georgia, there's this giant Kia plant. And I don't know if you can live in this, live here, and work over there. But if you could, well, you could, of course. You just have to pay taxes. I think you got to pay taxes in both states. That's horrible. But if they pay good, it's, it's kind of worth it. So I guess this has kind of become a, what they call a bedroom community for people that work at that Kia plant. That might be the case. If you're a local, they're probably on that. But I'm almost certain that's probably the scenario. I love how these houses all have front porches. It's like a like a West Virginia type of feel. But what happens is it becomes a, a bedroom community is what they call these. And once they become bedroom communities, it costs more to fix these houses than they're ever going to be worth. Actually, it costs more to fix them than you can build a new house. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, they become rental properties. Ah, oh, you can smell the dog from here, a cat. Ugh. 
don't know how people can live like that. I can smell the cat or dog from here. Oh, you smell it? That is bad. I don't know how people can do that, y'all. Like they have cats inside the house, and then oh, I can smell it from up here. That's horrible. But yeah, that's what happens with these old houses. So they become like rental properties, and when they become rental properties, that's it. I mean, nobody's ever gonna care for the home once it's a rental property. It's just a um, it becomes a rental property, and, and it kind of. And it's a shame because these, these neighborhoods have a lot of character, you know. But I don't know what that Kia plant does for this community as far as... Look at that one. See, that is actually what our house would look like if we did the bricks. See how it's got bricks, red bricks at the bottom? The house that we're buying, guys, it looks just like that house right there. You're pretty much looking at it. Except for this is... Our house is uh, built in 2010, I think. And it's, it's on an acre, so if you want to know what we're getting, that's pretty much what it is right there. But if, it's, 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 it's a newer model. It's not. These are old houses. These houses, houses are probably, I don't know, from the 40s, 50s or something. But, yeah. It's uh, nice metal roofs. Hey, y'all. Everybody waves. That's cool. I love the metal roofs. Houses are actually pretty big. See, you know, in Florida, if you drive by with a camera, nobody's going to wave at you. You're kidding me. They're going to be like, what are you doing? Actually, the view up here is incredible. I'm actually going to turn around. I wish you guys could see the view on the other side. You can see clear Georgia from here. There's a water tower and uh, there's a river. I wish you guys could see the view that these houses have. But this is supposedly the most dangerous town in Alabama. I don't think so. I, I think Birmingham, I, Montgomery for sure. We spent enough time there to figure out that place is dangerous. So, uh, there's a neighborhood in Montgomery where they have bags holding. I'm sorry, that's so hood. This one's got metal bars on the window, so you don't put up metal bars just for fun. Do you? It's a duplex, too. So, I can kind of see how it's... Maybe there's rougher parts. we got to keep driving until we, we find the rougher neighborhoods. Right, well, we're looking for it. I mean, kids playing outside. Notice uh, a black kid playing with a white kid. I love Alabama for that reason. You hear so much garbage about Alabama and how it's the R word and all that. Guys, don't believe that garbage. This is the most integrated community that I have ever seen. I mean, like you see there, a black kid and a white kid playing together. I only seen that like once or twice in Florida. And it was in Okeechobee, Florida, a nice little town. But overall, um, I love how integrated, I love it. It makes you feel so warm inside, you know? Um, I, I think Alabama is a beautiful place with beautiful people. I really love it. And since I've been here, I've really felt um, happy just to see how beautiful, I don't know. I think there might be history, but there's definitely the present. And the present's not the past. And when it comes to the present, the state has really done a good job. Look how pretty this one is. Front porch and everything with the, you know, nice little, oh man, these houses are old. I love it. Let's go this way. I don't even know which way to turn all these houses. Look at these houses gotta be from the 1800s. They, they gotta be at least from the 1800s. But I, I'm not gonna touch that subject anymore. That's, we're gonna leave that subject in Florida where it belongs. How about that guys? We're gonna, we're gonna leave that in Florida where it belongs. Because it doesn't belong here, I'm telling you. It really doesn't belong here in Alabama. It's not like that. And there's so many people, you know, before you say something, know what you're talking about. Because I think it's just people hear something and then they repeat it and then the next person repeats it and now everybody says it and nobody knows what they're talking about. If you don't know what you're, if you're not from here, you're not, you haven't been here, you don't know what you're talking about, then just shut up about it. Because I've been here now a week or so, and everything that I have seen would tell me the absolute opposite. Now, that could change. I could spend more time here. See, that car's got a busted out rear window. Both of them have a busted out rear window. That's a bad sign. That's not good. 
So it's kind of like Lehigh Acres where it looks quiet. It looks like there's not nothing going on, but you start to pick up little details of, you know, like cars are busted windows, houses in disrepair. You start to pick up little things here and there. Wow, what an ugly design. Good. Spanish, there's a lot of Spanish people here. There's, there's a lot of Guatemalans. Yeah, those are Guatemalans for sure. Yeah, I can't believe uh and that too, you know, like there's a lot of Latinos here in some towns. Not all towns, but at least in northeastern and eastern Alabama, there's a lot of Latinos here. Mostly Guatemalans. For the most part, I'm at this guy again. Mostly Guatemalans. I know. Mostly Guatemalans. The street is looking rough. Wow, that street looks rough. Let me see how many of my drive through there. Okay. Dude, the street looks rough. I, I can see it. I really can. Look at this house. Yeah, you can see it. You see a lot of cars with rims here, more than anywhere in Florida. In Florida, you you know you have to go to the hoods to see it. Here in Alabama, you see it everywhere. Everybody's got rims. I'm surprised nobody's yelled at us for recording. Like when we go to St. Petersburg, where it's like close quarters with people like this, people in St. Pete were like screaming at us and giving us hard looks. And here, you're just driving through and like nothing. I love these really old dimensional metal. It's a metal roof, but it looks like dimensional shingles. Really awesome. I mean, that's got to be a really, look at that. And there's some old houses here. This town's got some old houses. I love it. I hope you guys, am I the only person who enjoys the hood? Like, do y'all enjoy the hood? Like, does it just intrigue you? Like, to me, I love this, all, my, all these old houses and, you know, people driving old cars and stuff. I love all that crap, man. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> he used his hand as a turn signal. I love Alabama, y'all. It's something else, man. It really is. He's got an old GMC side, step side. I love it, man. That house is actually pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice. I, I gotta flip back around the street. You guys have gotta see the houses on the other side. They're like, they gotta be from the 1800s, or like early 1900s. This, is, this town's got some old houses. Look at that dog. <laughs> you can smell it too. Oh, man, I love Alabama, y'all. This is so fun. It intrigues me. I love urban settings, like, just to see how people live, the faded paint, and it's just like, there's so much life to these neighborhoods. I love it. I really do. It, it's, it's, it's actually enjoyable. Um, people seem really laid back, but you can tell it probably goes down. Now, I can see it. You see it, Katie? I see it. I can definitely see how this neighborhood can get kind of scary at night, probably. I'm surprised nobody in Alabama, we got one guy, I can't remember, I think it was, I can't remember what city it was in, but I had one guy where he looked really disappointed about the camera, maybe he had a warrant or something, or maybe he thought that was an undercover, you know, but he wasn't like mad, in Florida you get, they get you get the angry look, you know, you get cursed out, or get out of my neighborhood, you know all that, but here the guy just looked really disappointed, you know, like he didn't like it, and you can see it in his face, but... It wasn't like he was gonna do anything about it. Have we been to this street already? I don't know. This is our passing like they're just okay. What's he doing? Okay. Okay, we're getting boxed in here. Not right, cool. You gotta either you either gotta go or you gotta stay, but you can't block the road. But uh look at this one. Is that brick? Oh, that's a lot of work. Well this one's cute with the vinyl. So I'm kind of, let's, let's, let's leave this neighborhood. We've been driving around too much. Let's find another neighborhood, kind of. That's the main road. I think that's all there is to this town, really. It might be worse towards the back of the neighborhood. We'll find, let's keep rolling. I, I can see how it would have crime, but it doesn't look, I'm like, I, I, I can see, you know. Yeah. It's all good, man. It's just for the internet. All right, buddy. He said, all right. That's cool. I'm telling you, man. People here are... You do that in Florida to somebody, you drive by with a camera, you're not going to get an it's all right. You're going to get a what are you doing in my neighborhood. That's what I don't get about Florida, man. People in Florida are so rude. 
Like, I've legitly not had a single person, like, actually, like, complain or, you know, or give me an attitude or nothing about the camera. I'm actually surprised. So, well, that's it. I mean, there's... First Street goes into town. Let's take First Street. Let's, let's see here. I mean, you're going to see most of the crime and, and, you know, activity in the residential neighborhoods usually. <laughs> they got an old couch on their front. I love this, y'all. It intrigues me. It really does. I love... They're Hispanic, dude. They're, they're Hispanic. You heard them? They're Guatemalan. Okay, this looks really rough on this side. I don't know if I want to do this with the camera on the side of the window. Wow, this looks rough. I have the business card in case somebody even. I have a. I bought. I made business cards for my YouTube channel, just in case somebody said something. You know, we don't have any problem. But this is rough out here. Let's just drive through here. Hang on. And again, you don't get the hard looks. You don't get. You know, like. Oh, he's got an Impala, man. You don't get the hard looks you get in Florida. This place is definitely rough, bro. Rough around the edges. It's definitely a rough place. Look at these houses, y'all. Man, oh man, this is rough out here. Got the little corner stores. But nobody's actually, like, upset about you recording. Like, they know you're recording. They see you, but they don't, like, say anything. Very... That's good. That's what I need so I can do my videos in peace, you know? It's like, here, if you're not bothering people, they don't get upset. They don't get mad. In Florida, you drive through somebody's neighborhood or you go, bro, man, you got trouble. Somebody's gonna get angry. This, this street looks rough. This looks like Detroit out here, y'all. A, a lot of Spanish people. I guess this town's got a lot of Spanish people. Probably a lot of work. You know, it's probably because they work, they live here. And they probably even work to Atlanta. Atlanta's not too far. What's 80 mile drive to Atlanta? There's a lot more work in Georgia, I'm pretty sure, than Alabama. But if you live in, if you live in this state and work in the other state, you gotta, um, you gotta pay taxes in both states. See, they don't have air conditioning. They got a window. They got a fan by the window. That's pretty rough. They're white for sure to the kids outside. So, yeah, that's rough when you don't. They got window units on this one. People say hi. It's crazy. I love it, man. We just had two people wave hello at us. So, that's that's how.